morning everybody. Welcome to the Firefly Studio. It's Gina. I've got a uh, journal to share with you today. This is a design team project for my porch prints. Uh, Stephanie has a beautiful bee bundle in her shop and of course you know that I love to work with the bees. So when I spotted that I asked her if, I, if she would mind if I worked with that uh, kit and she was generous enough to allow me to do so, so here we are. <laughs> and this is um, one of the Amazon mailers. Let me see if I've got one here. Um, I thought I had one, but apparently I don't. But you know, you order things off of Amazon and they come in the mailers. Um, so that's the base of this journal. Um, I've seen a lot of people doing folios, and I did one sometime back as well. But I thought it'd be really cool to um, construct a whole journal cover with it, and I love how it's come out. This is a three signature. I don't know off the top of my head how many pages. It's a huge journal. Um, largest as far as, um, not by the number of signatures, it's three signatures, but because of the size of the spine. I've put a three inch spine on here um, so you can see it's a very full journal but I've still got enough room in there that um, you can still add quite a lot to it. And a lot, a lot's went into this. Uh, laces, I've got some burlap. As you can see I did the spine on that. I did a hidden spine on there and then on the back I've just added this old doily that's um, been deconstructed. And the closure is sorry silk. Um, and then over here this flap I wanted to make sure I had burlap on that as well. I, I just love the look of this. Um, it was really fun to get back into um, trying some new things. I'm always, I get very bored if I do the same style journals and I think you guys know that by now. If you've been following me any time at all, you know I can only do something for a few times then I've got to step away and do something else because it's, it's, I just don't like getting into a, a rut or a routine. So it does present more challenges because every time, you know, it does take more time to do these, but I like the uniqueness of it. Um, that way, you know, every journal is completely uh, unique. So here we go. This is one of the images from that kit. Just beautiful, beautiful kit. Um, I didn't come near using up everything that, that Stephanie's included in that, but it is still... Um, has so much in here. A lot of different layers of old uh, laces. Some burlap peeking through and then I've got some um, of the shipping paper so it's all been layered and then I added a book plate because I felt like it needed the metal to balance it. So inside here I had made this collage a while back and it ended up really thick and too large to use in a journal and when I created this, it just worked out beautifully that that could be on the inside of that flap. So I love how that came out. And then on the front cover, I've um, created another flap here. Let me just make sure everything is in frame so you guys are seeing everything. So again, you've got two pockets on the front here. I've done some stamped journal cards, but then I've included a lot of, of the um, B ephemera because it is absolutely massive what you get. You get tickets and envelopes, um, ephemera, pages, stitching throughout the journal, stamping, stenciling, and then um, here some more. I've done decoupage, the little bees throughout the journal. There's a lot of space um, <clears throat> for writing in this. This I personally would say this is probably a this this could last you a year. This journal it's that big. Um, another of the beautiful uh, cards that you get. It it's yeah it's impressive. <clears throat> this is a uh, stamped tag that I've got. I love that image of that bee. 
and then it's been backed with um, scrapbooking paper that I tried to keep all the colors the same. Um, and so these are the papers that come with it. More decoupage up there. That's one of the background papers that she gives you. Um, I've got ruffles throughout that have come from. I've got snippets, and then I've also got ruffles, and these are the Liberty of London uh, fabrics. I've just recently purchased that, and it coordinated nice with this. Well, that's why I bought it when I I wanted the colors that would go nicely with this, and so I chose those. Here I've got a, a large pocket here that you can add some things to. Again, I've stamped, then back that onto fabric. So you've got those throughout, stenciling. And I've just tried to give a really nice mix, <coughs> excuse me, of book pages. And then here I've created a pocket with some uh, papers that I had in my stash that coordinated really nice with this. Now these are some of the little envelopes that you get in the large bundle. And if I'm not mistaken, I think some of these items you can purchase separately, but I've got the whole bundle, so I've got everything that she's got B-related in this. And it is just, it's huge. <laughs> so you've got another little envelope there you can add something to. Like I said, there's a lot um, in here without it being gator mouth. So... Um, Okay, this morning I just finished this up. Uh, Angela Kerr, you guys know I, I think a lot of Angela. She's, she's got some fantastic ideas and tutorials out. She's just posted this one, and I thought, oh, you know what? I never find time to do anything, so let me just sit down and do this now. And I love this. It's a double flap um, pocket. And mine's, you know, Angela does hers in her style, and I wanted this one to, to complement this journal. And then I just added a couple little tags inside with the tabs so that they would be peeking over. But what's nice about this is you end up with four sides because it, it flips over, so you can just have it within the journal, you know, whichever image you want showing. So thank you, Angela, for showing us how to make that. It's a great idea. And then over here, <coughs> just various bits of paper and uh, music sheets. Um, this is a book page pocket. And some more decoupage. I took some of the tiny tickets. You get these tiny tickets within that kit, and I love those. I just made a little tab out of that. And then this is some of the paper that you, is included. Oh, I'm going to have to pick up the pace, I think, to get through this one, guys. <laughs> uh, here, an envelope with a double pocket. And then, again, just various... Um, things from my stash that I thought complemented it, and another large tag back here. And again, you've got the bees floating around in the journal, an old uh, doily, some more paper, um, another little fabric tab there, and like I said, I tried to do a lot of stitching in this journal. And then here, I've just made a little tuck spot. These are the large tickets that you get. And then some more of the beautiful um, journal cards that come. And then she gives you this butterfly. So I made a little tuck spot there. And isn't that a beautiful journal card? And that's part of the kit as well. I love that image. So it was that time I needed to uh, visit the bees again. You know, I can only go a few months, and then I need to work with them. <laughs> but um, it's really nice with the weather that we've had. You want to start thinking about um, some nicer weather coming. Here I've just stitched around. This is another journal card from it. Here I've been working on some large snippet rolls and um, in my free time. And so I've just started making some little snippet pockets with those. I love how those have come out. And it always feels really rewarding when you can take your scrap drawer and just start creating something even with scraps. I just find that um, 
that's what I love about journaling is just taking things that you might would ordinarily chuck out and you can always repurpose them and find another use. Um, old book pages, more of the decoupaged on these, and then again, this is what the little tickets look like, and I just cut this one out, <coughs> excuse me, and made a um, journal card out of that. I love how that, I doubled that lace up over some uh, muslin fabric there, and another large uh, tag back here. And there's the background paper. It's got the honeycomb on it. That's gorgeous. And this is another image from the kit. So you can see I've tried to stamp, uh, stamp and stencil and decoupage throughout and then added in fabric bees where, wherever I felt it needed. This is some fabric trim with the bees on it. Um, music roll, um, music paper. Uh, piano, I'm sorry, piano roll paper that I've made into a little ruffle there. And then another little B. And then this one, the little Rolodex cards. Sorry guys, if I've been out of it the last two videos, I'm not too sure. I just hadn't, I've kind of felt under the weather, but just trying to push on through it. I'm not sick, but you know, when you're just not 100%, and I um, apologize because it's making the filming. I know it's not running as smoothly as it should, so I am sorry about that. More stenciling there. Like I said, this is um, lots of room to still grow this journal, and I did want to make sure that I allowed enough room so that it could expand with other items added to it. More stenciling. This is avocado dyed paper. I managed to get in a batch of those, I think, the week prior. Um, week before last. Love this page. Beautiful. And some more of that Liberty of London fabric. I, I just love it when I can get my hands on that material. It is so, so nice. <laughs> um, and this is some of the eco dye paper from Ari Mays. Um, I put a piece of that in there. And again, another one of those little envelopes. They are just gorgeous. Look at the bee on that. And look at that journal card. Just beautiful. I feel really honored that uh, I get to work with the designers that I did have. Um, they all are so different, but um, each of them creates such beautiful things. Okay, so this is another little fabric ruffle, and then here I've just done a CD um, with a journal card in there. And I've backed that with avocado dyed paper. And then I've done a little, little bee there. And some more trim. I thought that went nicely with it. More old book pages. And then some more paper. Um, this was just a, a page that I had in my stash and I thought, it coordinated nicely. Another uh, fabric tab. Here I've made a belly band there with some scraps from the off cuts. And this is another of the journal cards from the kit. And you get all these little images as well. So it is just such a fun kit to work with because you've got everything. Now this is a I know this is not Yvonne's idea, but I have named this my Yvonne pocket. When I, when I write my little checklist, that's what I, But I know she did say she got this idea. I believe it was Terry Wood. Um, and this just opens up so you've got all this writing space. But I like the way that that, that folds up and looks within the journal. And then this is another of the journal cards from the kit. And then that creates a pocket back there so you can just tuck in. I love those old pockets. Another of the page from the kit. Sorry, let me <coughs> keep up with this time, guys. <laughs> 
It's such a big journal. It's been a while since I've done one this. And I will say this is probably going to be the last large one for a little while because I'm starting to get burnt out. Um, I need to just go back to uh, some smaller projects. Oh, look at that journal card. Isn't it just gorgeous? And then this was one I had picked up off the internet. Just did a search there. And this is a book page that I made into a... Um, envelope pocket type and then I did some stitching and decoupage there. Another fabric tab. And then this is one of the Anna Griffin um, pockets. I haven't used those for a while. It's out of sight, out of mind with me I'm afraid. Um, this is an old um, book page and I, I just was cleaning out the other day and found these because I had kind of been hoarding them because I love the images but I wanted to make a journal card with that and then I just added some little muslin up there. But I love those images and I'm kicking myself because I did not write the name of that book down and I must get more organized. <laughs> um, here is one of my window pocket envelopes and then this is one of the journal cards then a beautiful one with the little daisies. So that's been tucked in. Um, and then some more Artie Mae's eco dyed papers. Aren't those beautiful? And again, I kind of forgot about these, so I must get those printed. And oh, I've just honestly, guys, I've been so out of it since before Christmas. Um, and I just feel like I'm just now starting to get back on top of things. Um, so, yeah, hopefully things are going to pick up as time goes on. Because there's so many things I want to do, but it's around, I just don't have the time, as you know. Um, I love this. This comes in the kit. And I thought, oh, that's really cute just to put on the edge there. But I have enjoyed this. This is a little muslin bag, and I've taken that beautiful bee and stamped him there to make a pocket. And then I stitched it together. So it could have been a double pocket, but I opted to just stitch it because I, I thought, well, oh, it might get a little bit, you know, pull on the page a bit too much. So I've just stitched that so that there's just a single pocket behind. <clears throat> More avocado dyed paper with some stamping up there. More of the decoupage bees. I love that. And then more stitching along this edge. And of course the bee. <laughs> and this is another um, beautiful card that you get in the kit. And then there again, you've got another pocket within that. Okay, we are into the last signature, so I will pick up the pace, guys. Another snippet pocket. Look at that journal card. Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. And I've done some trim along the edge there. More fabric ruffle. And then this is one of those round uh, doilies I've altered with baking paper to make a pocket out of it. And I've decoupaged a little bee down there as well. Uh, another fabric tab. Um, this is some more avocado dyed paper that I've made into a pocket there. And just beautiful. It is a huge kit, honestly. I was so impressed when I started printing this out at how much is included in this bundle. Um, and then this is a little paper clip that I made out of that image. Isn't he a sweetie? I'm sure he'd still sting you though, wouldn't he? <laughs> I don't know, the bumblebees, just they look like they would just be so friendly, but I'm sure if you're in their territory, they'll still let you know about it. Okay, I'll have to come back to that. I don't know why. I'm all thumbs today. I'll put that there. Um, another old vintage book page. And here, just got little bits of ephemera tucked in, lots of little journal cards. That's the center of the last signature there. And then again, more 
tags and uh, journal cards. Beautiful. Just beautiful. Another little fabric tab there. And another journal card tucked in there. And then this is an altered tea bag uh, pocket here, and I've decoupaged on that. And then tucked another of the journal cards in. And then here I've got a tiny tag tucked in that little pocket. And then again, I've just filled it with various uh, bits of ephemera. It's been a real pleasure uh, creating this journal. Uh, I do love working with the bees so much and I, I like trying different things so this was a lot of fun for me to um, experiment with. Here's a glassine bag that I've tea dyed and then that's another of the bits of ephemera that you get. Isn't it just gorgeous? And then I've uh, decoupaged those bees there. And on the back I just created a large um, coin style envelope here. There's nothing in the pocket there but in the back here. I've just done that uh, postcard with some old lace stitched and I stitched around it. So there you go guys. That is the Queen Bee is what I've named this one because it is so large. <laughs> and uh, she is going into the shop. If you are interested you can you can head over to my shop. There seems to be some confusion about where I sell I have my own website. I no longer sell on Etsy. I may be bringing back um, other items on Etsy in the near future, but they will only be um, because I like to flea market and antique. It's going to be more um, things that I've run across um, along my journeys, but they will not be, my journals will never go back into Etsy because I, I'm. I'm happy with my website, so do check that out. That's in the description box below. And as I said, once I get um, some items, enough items to add to the Etsy shop, um, I will let you know about that if you're interested. It will be nothing related to journals, I can tell you that. It's going to be more uh, glassware. I have a real interest in those things. And, um, you know, just linens and that kind of stuff that I run across. So, okay guys, thank you so much for stopping by. I appreciate it and I hope everybody is safe and and is doing well and I will be back soon. Bye.